Hi guys and welcome back to a new video with the Omega Enthusiast. This will be a quick video on my collection of vintage Omega pocket watches. Pocket watches can be short for PK watches. They do not always mean old or pre wristwatch, but yes, they existed before there were wristwatches. But do not forget that until our present day that some watch company are still manufacturing pocket watches. I hope this video will influence you guys to appreciate vintage pocket watches even more. So let us begin. The first piece that I have here dates to 1938. Full solid stainless steel case with a diameter measuring 47.7 millimeter wide. It has a snap-on case back and acrylic dome crystal. The manual wind movement is an Omega Caliber 38.5L, which is a very commonly used movement for Omega pocket watches during the 1930s and 1940s. Very attractive sector type dial with its original plum type blue steel hands. Second up is this very special piece dating to 1939. Also in full solid stainless steel with snap-on case back, the case diameter in this one is a millimeter larger than the first, measuring at 48.8 millimeters. The manual wind movement is the same as the first watch, which is a caliber 38.5L. The unique dial and set of luminous hands makes this timepiece very special. This third piece has been sitting on my display for many years and you can see the gold plated case has tarnish, but that can be easily removed with a polishing cloth. This one is almost in newer stock condition as the case and dial are pristine. This piece dates to 1936 and also takes a caliber 38.5L manual wind movement. Case diameter on this one measures 45mm wide. Fourth piece is a rare Omega Diplomat desktop pocket watch dating to 1934. This is a very special piece which you can carry around as a pocket watch or you can set it on top of your desk like a travel clock. The crown may be positioned above the 12 or across the 3 o'clock. Case diameter on this one is 50mm wide. The manual wind movement is an Omega Caliber 37.6S. This is another variation of a sector dial with leaf type hands. Watch number 5 dates to 1938 and has a case diameter of 48.7mm wide. Exceptionally clean sector dial with blue steel briquet type hands. In case you do not know what is that thing around the crown, that is called a bow of a pocket watch. The snap-on case back on this one is smooth with a slight dome. Pocket watch number 6 is one of my favorite pieces. I like this one a lot because of the unique raised brigade numeral L indexes. Majority of the time the indexes are painted on the dial. Original set of blue steel brigade hands. This one dates to 1937 and has a case diameter measuring 48.6 mm wide. The manual wind movement on this one is 38.5 L as well. The seventh piece that I have here dates to 1941 according to its movement serial number. The manual wind movement is an Omega Caliber 38.5L. This piece is very attractive due to its original bullseye 
dial. Bullseye dial is very popular design throughout the 1940s. The solid stainless steel case on this one measures 48.5 millimeters. Number 8 is an Omega Chronograph Pocket Watch. This one dates to 1931. The manual wind movement is an Omega Caliber 39CHRO. To activate the chronograph, simply press the button on top of the crown. Press it again to pause and press it again to reset. It has a double flip open case back. The inner case back is usually used for engraving purposes. The case diameter on this one is 50.2 millimeter wide. The smallest piece in this lot is this 1936 gold-plated piece with a case diameter of 44.8mm wide. The manual wind movement is also an Omega Caliber 38.5L. A few of the, these pocket watches in the video have not been serviced since I only have them in display. But the many that I will be selling soon in a future site update will all be serviced. The price of a pocket watch is not very expensive, but to service one can be quite pricey since parts are expensive to purchase. The last piece that I have here dates to 1939, a rare example similar to watch number 2 in this video. Very attractive luminous dial with rare set of cathedral luminous hands. It also has a double flip open case back. The case diameter on this one measures 48mm wide. The manual wind movement is an Omega 38.5L. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy my educational video as always. Which is your favorite pocket watch in this video? What is your thought about owning a pocket watch after watching this video? If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. My website and Instagram links are also below this video. Do not forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on any of my future episodes. And please support the channel by clicking on that thumbs up button below and on Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.